Greetings, dear family, your followers of Path to the Roots. Uh, thank you for staying connected. I really thank you for your unconditional support. I am here today to bring clarity about a topic or a concern, a request that uh, most of my friends make. Uh, sometimes people will contact me and say, Richard, you know, I want the most powerful voodoo, or I can you guide me to the most powerful priest uh, in uh, your area, stuff like that. I understand that uh, you know somebody who really don't know deep about the culture can have some uh, view about the, the, the culture from distance, but when you are really in, things are not always the way it seems or the way it looks from distance. So what I'm trying to tell you is that, first of all, there is no uh, most powerful priest. There are rather priests who are honest, who practice uh, the culture with more wisdom, who are not really greedy about money, and who do the things with uh, love, passion, and uh, yeah, with a lot of wisdom. So you can talk about a priest like that because the work, whatever we do, no matter the result you get after the work, is the spirit doing the work. And the spirit responds easily to someone who is more humble, who is more honest, who uh, has really learned to craft and do it with passion and follow strictly the recommendations of the spirit. Now, why am I bringing this topic today? Uh, when people say, I want the most powerful deity, or like recently, some friends will call me and say, Richard, I want God directly like that, or I want not. Because they heard in many videos uh, either from my channel or many other channels online, they heard that Badu is the most powerful deity as far as uh, the fight against the witchcraft is concerned in the Yoruba culture. And the Na stands from the same reality in the form of Ajata the tribe. But uh, it is not because we say Badu is like the... Uh, summit because Badu in the Nago style is the queen mother, is uh, related to the feminine energy, the feminine power, and uh, talking about uh, witchcraft, I mean divinity that can fight against witchcraft, Badu is like the summit in the Yoruba style. In form, Na is the summit because it is the queen mother who gave birth to all divinities, all spirit, and who can say no to a witch and the witch will not move again. But this does not mean that we stand up and claim Badu or take a, a no, no. This requires a lot of things. The most important thing you guys to, uh, should know is that Vodou spirituality is more about knowing yourself, which means that if the problem you're going through is related to your destiny and the solution is supposed to come from a specific deity, a specific divinity, or the solution requires a sacrifice, if that sacrifice is not conducted, if that deity or the divinity that should fix the problem in which your destiny fulfillment has been decided with, if that divinity is not identified properly and the work, what he means or she means to do the work is not provided, no matter the other deity, no matter the other spiritual technology, the weapon, uh, no matter what you will do, you will not get satisfaction. It's not that we have Badu or we have Na, we have Sakbata as the very powerful, very... No, no deity is to underestimate. You have to find who you are first. 
Like people hear about Trump as a divinity that fights against witchcraft. That's true. Because how Trump came here, we know and we know how successful it has uh, been in the fight against witches, against, against witchcraft. We know that. But this does not mean that when you have problem of witchcraft, you go to take Trump, you take initiation to Trump and you start adopting Trump. Or even if you take the shrine of Trump to your house to become a Trump priest, your problem will be solved. Now that's a joke. It will not work. It will not work. What you got to do is to find out who you are, where your problem really comes from. Sometimes it can take years to find out the real problem because sometimes, you know, we are human. And the priest is not God. Even the spirit that he's using to do his work are not always connected to your destiny, are not always connected to the self. And sometimes you might be taking sacrifice over sacrifice without result. It does happen. It's not that magical that, okay, when we have Vodou and we know that this deity is powerful, you go there and you got results. No, that's not the problem. The main point in Vodou spirituality is know who you are so that you can know how to conduct yourself, what rules you need to observe, how you should live your life to stay in better communion with your spiritual realm. And when you observe those rules, it will be difficult for a witch or her problems to, uh, to come to your life. But the difficult point is, when the problem is already there, before you decide, I mean, before you launch yourself into the spirituality, it becomes more difficult. It becomes more difficult because the person who has attacked you have, has his eyes on you and know when you're moving, they're following you. They can see you just like on the TV. They can see you like in a mirror. And all movement you make, they're following you. And the attempts that you will try to get solution, they're following and they will look for ways to make that not be successful. So that requires a lot of uh, care, a lot of attention, a lot of wisdom, a lot of patience before you go to the 